Yo! What's up, everybody? It's Superfly Fat Guy 859 coming at you yet again. I'm coming at you with something that was completely unexpected. Um, I had forgotten that I'd given House of Fire 72 my address. Uh, we had talked about some fat wood, and I he said that uh, he was like, "Oh, well, I'll send you some." And I told him I was like, "Well, just to let you know. I mean, I do have some uh, that Godzilla's Low Child sent me." You know, but it's not it's not a whole lot or anything like that. And he and he never wrote back, so I just assumed I was like, well, you know, I guess he thought, well, since you got some, you don't need any more or something like that, which was fine with me, you know, completely fine with me. But <laughs> I just went out to get the mail and um, and I got a package from him. I was like, holy shit! <laughs> so let's get into it and uh, see what we got here. Okay. The orange griptilian, but I did take the uh, sheep's foot blade off and put it on the griptilian, and I have a deep carry pocket clip from the 275 Adamus on here. So this is a Franken griptilian. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. And as expected, oh dude, I'm not even gonna chop this up because this looks good. Let me see if I can get some more light on this. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Look at all of this. Yeah, this is already... Man, oh man. You know, when I was chopping that stuff up from Godzilla's Love Child, there was like two pieces that I finally got done. Wow. That look like this, and all of these look like... If you guys don't know what fatwood is, I actually, I had somebody, okay, you see, you see all the darkness there? That is all pine sap, I think, uh, well, I think it's pine, I think this is pine. It smells different though, it smells different than the, the pine that I was cutting up, so it might not be pine, but anyway, fatwood is just a... It's wood from a uh, a sap tree. Uh, is com or I'm only familiar with pine um, pine tree fat wood. But see all this dark stuff here. That's all sap. And if I had, um, let's see. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll just show you this up against the light. Do you see how you can see through that and it's orange? That's all sap in there. And, and I'll show you here with another one. You see that? That's all sap, okay, that you see in there. That's my goals for the year, and I'm about to break them already. I'm blown away by that. But anyway, um, this stuff, anyway, what I was going to say is, you know, there's a couple pieces that I broke down uh, that you know from my that I got from Godzilla's Love Child that looked like this. But this, every one of these pieces is whoa, <laughs> like wow. Like I know if I cut into one of these, the sap would just like run out, and that is amazing. I'm not, I'm not gonna do. I'm just gonna leave this as is for now because. Man, that is awesome. Like it, it anyway, uh maybe I didn't I didn't finish this cuz I've been <laughs> I've been sidetracked so many times. Uh I had one guy in my processing fatwood video ask me, you know, this is this is a stupid question, but what is fatwood? And first of all, I want to I want to tell everybody there's no stupid questions. You know what I mean? You, the only re the only way you find out something is by asking a question. So it, don't unless it is like it, you know, hey, uh, how much do you weigh or something stupid like that? But I mean, as far as like asking something, you know, something that you don't know the answer to, like that, like you know, what is fat wood? Um, that's not a dumb question. So don't 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 think that at ever. So if you ever have a question, maybe you don't want to ask it in the the comments. Go to uh, the about section on my on my channel. And send me a personal message asking me because to me there's no dumb there's no dumb questions. But anyway, a guy asked me. He said, "What is fat wood?" 
And I said, well, first of all, there's no dumb questions, so, you know, don't think that. Uh, but what fatwood is, is basically when a tree, from what I understand, when a, when a pine tree dies, all of the sap rushes to the trunk. And when it does that, it impregnates, it impregnates this wood like this. And, and um, it basically turns it into nature's candle. It's a natural candle. And this will burn hot, and it'll burn for a very, like this one stick here will burn for a very long time. It'll burn very hot. And it will put off some black smoke, but basically, you're, you're it, it's a candle. There's, and I don't know, if, I can't really, with this camera, I can't really get, oh yeah, I can. Right up here, there's like a glistening, okay? That is actually, uh, the sap like it's it's that thick in this wood here that it's actually on the surface as a as a liquid and it's um it's sticky like i don't know how to explain it other than that but anyway that is what fat wood is and holy shit not only did he send me some but he processed it for me before he sent it that is awesome i um i like i said i'm gonna keep this just like it is and then when I need some more, um, then I will shave it up uh, with you know with my knife, or I'll take the um, the pencil sharpener that I had and run it through there. One thing that I did, uh, and I'm gonna give her a shout out because uh, I I didn't see her video, but anyway, this Bronson came up with an awesome idea that if you stick one end into a power drill and hold the <laughs> the, the pencil sharpener. And you can just feed the pencils or the, the, the fat wood into the pencil sharpener with the power drill. And it's just like, <laughs> next piece. <laughs> like, it's it's awesome. It is, it is one hell of a cool trick. So, um, if you want some quickly processed fat wood, use a power drill. Because it, it makes quick work of it. So anyway, guys, that is my unboxing, my explanation. A big thank you to House of Fire 72. He's... Man, he's an awesome, awesome, awesome dude. He's the creator of the Blue Hill Stove. If you don't know what that is, definitely go check him out for sure because it is uh, just an awesome little um, accessory for your hiking, camping, bug out bag needs. So definitely go check him out. The link, of course, will be down below. And everybody, take it easy.